Hey guys. Um, I just came a little rain shower this morning. So it was all nice yesterday. We're supposed to get rain tonight and tomorrow. Um, so yeah, today's video, we're gonna put trim on the pig house and the roof. So that's probably what most of today's video is gonna be, is just getting the pig house finished up. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Jeremy's already fed cheese, so we're gonna feed we're gonna feed the blue goat and the cows. They're green really quick. And then we'll sort these guys. He's also locked the pigs out for me, which is nice. He came out and put up. We had all our tools laid out from yesterday, and obviously it came a little rain shower, so he was putting all that up so it didn't get wet. We went ahead and did those things, which is nice. These guys are excited. Good morning. Just a few for them. They really don't need a lot, but it keeps them just coming to the fence, paying attention. Good morning, girls. Good morning. You better watch that hot wire, Miss Thing. I think the pigs have gone and gotten in the new house because it's raining. I'm not gonna feed them this morning. We're kind of weaning them off pig feed for now, so he hasn't locked them out of their area, just out of the milking area. So I'll wait to feed them until that happens. Let's see if we can manage to lock these guys out without as much trouble as we had yesterday. You see, babies. My last pregnant girl. Where are my milking girls? Ooh, Sprite. Let's go. Zelda's not one. She's being a pain. All right. One, two, three, and four, and nobody else. Ah, look at that. We win. We win this morning. Good, because that means I can feed them all breakfast, which they appreciate. They were not happy yesterday, but I ended up having to move them out into the backyard. So we're not putting them in the backyard at the moment because there's nothing to eat out there. They lost the gate back after I lost it. No, 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 no. Thanks, Daisy. This is why I typically do not carry the camera and do this because they, they're just awful. So they hold the gate closed because they stand on it and then Daisy just jumped up on top of me to eat grain out of the basket. And I didn't spread it out very well today. These guys actually have grain in their pen. So let's go inside and get everybody milked and then we'll be finished.
this go up there. Come on. Come on. Let's have cookies. She's the best one to end with because she will eat whatever is left. But because she's not really picky, she'll eat right out of the bin too. Oh. This is why don't do this with the camera. They know they only get one turn. Babies, come on. It's time to go get babies. <laughs> you guys ready? Breakfast. Breakfast. Pepper is usually the one that really has a hard time finding his mom. It's Nani's baby. These two, no problem. See, here he is. There's mom. They do a pretty good job. See, there's plenty of milk. Plenty of milk left for everybody. You can really tell Nani's one. You can see how she filled right back up for him. Little Pepper. Is that your baby? Are you doing a good job? He's like, okay, that's enough. Everybody else, good morning. Let's go let you out. Oh, yep. Already tackling mom. He's <laughs> like, yep, it is time to go. Let's do this really quick because somebody asked me. And Daisy standing here. Okay, so Daisy is a little bit brown. Um, she does have brown. So he's asking me, how do you know if your goat needs copper? And I don't know if you can see how brown her leg is right there where her white spots are. That tells me she needs copper, that kind of brassy look that she has to her coat. Let's close this gate. And Twiz has it too right now. And it's pretty easy to see on her as well. So you can see Twiz is black. And I don't know if you guys can see how kind of she's got this reddish color right through here. And it's not terrible. It's pretty bright right there on her leg. She's solid black. She doesn't have any brown. And she looks a little bit brown. So that tells me she needs copper, that brassy look. And just coat quality. My girls have unlimited access to loose mineral. So don't usually struggle with coat quality. Let's see if we can find Tinkerbell. She's right here. But you can kind of see Tink's coat's not very shiny. Yes, it's kind of rough. She's got, um, and she's got some dander coming out, but like this, I don't like. I want it to be sleek and shiny. And so that also tells me that she needed copper. So here in a few weeks, we should see that like all improve. And you can see she's a little bit brassy too. And she's, this should just be black. It shouldn't be brown. All the way down. Yep. Make sure you don't hit, make sure you hit wood on the other side. Go for it. Okay. That was so much better. Hmm? Those screws. Mm hmm. Okay. So grab another one. I'll set it there. And line it up with the top. I think we're happy. What do you think?
öldü.
Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do to finish up the pig house is to spray it with some um, water seal because the plywood is not weather um, weatherproof. So this is what we're gonna use. My battery's about to die, so it's really fast. This is what we're gonna use, and he's gonna use a little one gallon sprayer and just spray. We'll put a link to what we bought. Yeah, we'll put a link to everything that we use for this project in the description, but there she is. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, well, make sure to give you a petunia and pork chop reaction video too, so when they get to get in it for the first time. All right, so here she is, Petunia's Pig Palace. Got her all sprayed down with the waterproofing stuff that I showed you. It's a little orange for now, but it'll hopefully dry. It's supposed to be like a really, really light like brown. It's not even... So, we'll see. But that should make it waterproof. I think our roof turned out really well, even though we had to take it apart. And that was kind of a an adventure in itself. But this is the inside. I don't know that I showed the inside. We'll put in a bumper when we get closer to farrowing time, a bumper around, and we'll probably have a clip or something to hang a heat lamp off of. Just, I really wanted dirt floor, make it easier to clean out. There we go, nice and waterproof. I think Toonie's really gonna like it. We're keeping them out right now until, the, um, until it dries a little bit more. So if you guys like this video of the pig house and have enjoyed following us while we built it and all the mistakes that we've made and the random stuff we've had to do over and all of that, hope you guys have enjoyed it and make sure you leave us a thumbs up. If you like this video, leave me a comment about what you think about the pig house. It's probably a little bit tall for a pig house, but this way humans can stand in it without trouble and it'll be easy to clean out. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you know every time we put out a new video. And we'll see you guys later.